Hi, I'm Carol Payton. Welcome to my broadcast. I wanted to talk about Christmas and then I will get into the other subjects uh, dealing with what you're going to be feeling when you do your liftings and, and some of the formulas because I think a lot of you are a little confused as to what to look for and how many times to do the lifting, how many times to do uh, some of the healing prayers, that sort of thing. So we're going to try to answer those questions tonight. But more about Christmas. I really want people to understand that the celebration truly needs to be, be about Jesus Christ. His birth, the fact that he is our Redeemer, and the fact that without Jesus, without his sacrifice and him doing everything that he did, with his life, we could not do this prayer work at all. It could not function. It would not work without the name of Jesus Christ in conjunction with it. And I don't think you understand the power behind the authority of just stating the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I've told some of you about the importance of it, and especially because I, I, I did a lot of uh, exorcisms. And I'm here to tell you, when you command in the name of Jesus Christ and you see the changes that come into effect and the power and how the dark side absolutely runs terrified, it just blows your mind. It absolutely blows your mind. I remember when I went under attack, really direct attack. I was running a fever about 105. And I, I had apparently stumbled into demonic domain where they, they were active. And I was apparently a threat in that, I guess because of my spirituality and, and my, I was beginning to learn, I was beginning to, to learn about Christ. I, I'd always known about Christ, but I mean the authority and the power of Jesus and the power of, of the dark side and life after death and all of those things were, I was, I was in training at that point in time. I went through an eight-year period of training that led to the point where I was doing full-fledged exorcisms. And I remember running a fever of 105. I didn't know what to do. I was under direct attack. Um, my daughter, who was very young at that time, was under a direct attack as well. They were trying to get her to commit suicide. She was just a child. I went to the head of a church asked for his help. He said he didn't believe in demons. And it was all in my head. Then I went to the Catholic Church that's supposed to believe. And they said, well, you know, if you walk into a trap, it's your problem. And I went, oh, my God. Literally, my God, where are you? Where, where are you supposed to be in these people that are supposed to be God-like people. And then my guide said to me, now you command in the name of Jesus Christ. You command them to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. I went, really? Me? Yes, you stand in the authority of Jesus Christ and you command them. Do it now. And I did. And my fever went away instantly. And the attack stopped instantly. And the attack on my daughter stopped instantly. And I went, I don't need them. All I need is Christ and God. I don't need to go through another human being. I can go direct. The power is there for me and for all of us. And we don't know it. We have no idea. 
so I really learned to truly appreciate what I had learned and the authority of my Lord and Master Jesus Christ and that I could call upon that authority and could be safe and could protect my child and myself and could help to protect other people by teaching them, by sharing with them. I'm here to tell you, we should be celebrating the birth of our Redeemer. Through His redemption, through His blood, we have the power through His authority over Satan, over the demonic, and we can heal through this. We can do wondrous things through this, but we couldn't have done it had he not been born, had he not become our Redeemer. So please, please be grateful and thank God for Jesus and thank Jesus for being your Lord and Master, your Lord and Master teacher. Understand? God bless all of you. I am so appreciative of being able to share this with you tonight, of being able to share this Christmas with you and to share the information with you. God bless you all and each and every one of you. Merry Christmas. All right. Now, we're going to get into the subject matter. I explained to you about the power of Jesus Christ and the authority of Jesus Christ. When you do the lifting, and for those of you that are new, that are coming on, jumping on. Jumping on tonight yes, for the first time. For the first time. Um, I really recommend that you go through the earlier broadcast so that you will be better acquainted with what I'm talking about because I'm going to be talking about the daily lifting and some of the, the prayers, uh, prayer formulas for healing and other situations that you will be able to locate all this information on carolpate.com. I have just put tons of information out there for you so that you can, you can work and directly with God in the name of Jesus Christ and do some wonderful things in your life and help other people as well, which I hope you will do. So I'm going to talk first about the lifting and the power of the lifting. The lifting is a daily prayer that I do every day without fail. And it's basically, it's, I don't remember exactly how many parts to it. It's got, first part is a band of mercy. Second is the appropriate archangel or angels. Third is the appropriate archangel or angels and their legions from the appropriate realms. Then it's the benign or then it is, no, I'm sorry, it's the glory band of mercy. And then it, no, it's the benign or and then the glory band of mercy. And then integral band of mercy. And then it is the archangel Michael and the archangel Gabriel. That is the parts of it. You'll have, it's posted on the very top, pinned on the very top of this page that we're doing the broadcast on Facebook. It's also on uh, carolpate.com. And you can download it, I think, on carolpate.com. You can download it onto your, your iPhones or whatever. And I suggest that you do that. And if you get it printed out, I would highly suggest that you put it in a plastic sleeve because if you don't, it will probably poof out of existence. They have a tendency to do that. For some reason, the dark side doesn't like the information. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, hard to imagine. Anyway, uh, you are doing this. Now, we've come a long way in the daily lifting. We've gone through many, many steps in authority and adapting authority with the daily lifting. 
to now we, we used to have to say several names of God, the Hebrew names of God, because God has 72 names. That's a whole show on its own, so not tonight. And I think I've done some on that. But I want you to understand that it's been shortened down now to my Lord and uh, my God, 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 God Almighty, my one my one true creator, my one, no, my one true source, my one true creator, my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the High Most Holy Spirit, which is so much simpler. Mm-hmm. And it's so powerful now that that's all you have to use all the way through, including the other formulas. They've all been changed as well. So when you do the daily lifting, you put palms out like so. My guides told me and the teachers have told me that we are supposed to pray open, open to send, open to receive. This is closed. It's not open. This is open. So we do the daily lifting. We must speak it aloud because the words carry power. Frequency, power. It's important to understand that. Now, when you're doing the lifting on yourself, you do it as such, or on another person, you still do it the same way. You will feel as the as you're doing the lifting. Like if I'm doing the lifting on you, the first thing that you're going to feel is kind of feeling light like this. And you'll get a little dizzy. You may get tingly. You'll feel lighter on your neck and your shoulders. And I've had other people say that they felt really spacey. Some felt really dizzy, lightheaded. It depends on what was attached to you and how many. Uh, You will also notice that Aches and pains very often will disappear from your body. Mm-hmm. And the most important thing is all chatter in your mind will become silent. My There'll be part. no more chatter. Mm-hmm. Because I know that a lot of you are absolutely vexed by the chatter in your head. You can't think it's hard. It causes brain fog. Mm-hmm. All of this will stop. Anxiety attacks will stop. Not, I can't guarantee all will, but a lot of the anxiety attacks will stop. Um, and that night, you'll sleep like a baby. The next day, you will have energy. Not nervous energy. Honest energy. And all of a sudden, you'll look at everything around you and go, wait a minute, I don't even like this furniture. I don't like the style. You'll look in your closet and go, oh, my God, I, why, why would I buy clothes that look like this? And you'll look around and you'll notice that everything you've been buying has been drab. Your clothing has been drab. Uh, you haven't had fun You've been depressed. All of a sudden, you're not depressed anymore. You feel alive. You feel like you again for the first time since you were probably 13 or 14, 15 years old. You feel like you're you again. And you can breathe. It's easier to breathe. And all of a sudden, you find yourself laughing. You're happy. There's a happiness. Now, everybody, there's more... Or less. It just depends. Like It's like the, the tingling. If you've had something really, really messing with you, like you may feel a full body tingle when you do this lifting. Now, when you do this on yourself, you, you will probably feel many of these symptoms or possibly more or less, depending. There's another thing that happens. Bef- when you go to bed at night, if you'll notice, there'll be like... Pictures of people, individual people, go across your mind screen. These are the people that are attached to you. 
These are people you do not know. Those will stop after you do the lifting. You won't see them anymore. Why? Because they've been redeemed back to God through the lifting in and through the name of Jesus Christ. They are no longer bound, earthbound, but they will actually be in heaven and safe and delivered safely. Why? Because you did a prayer. You didn't do this. You asked for those who had the authority to take them into the light, which happens to be the first one, which is the band of mercy and the appropriate archangels or angels. And you can even get the demonic into the light. If they're attached to you, they too will be taken into the light. Do you have any idea of the magnitude of that statement? We're living in a world right now that is in siege of a war between good and evil. If everybody did a lifting once a day, how many armies would evil have left? You'd delete a lot of those armies. They would be redeemed back to God. It would lessen the dark side's abilities in the war between good and evil. It is important. This lifting is of great importance, not only to your life and your lifestyle, to your happiness, the happiness of your family, the safety of your family, because you can, with their permission, you can do this with them and for them, depending upon the circumstances of your house and your property and your pets, your life. And a lot of your problems, probably 80%, will be deleted, be gone. It's amazing. And I'd kind of like to get some of the people out there that have gone through the liftings and to maybe put on um, spiritual truth seekers the changes in their life through doing the lifting. We've gotten a few, and I'm, I'm beginning to see where people are getting it. They're waking up, and they're going, my life's changed. Mm -hmm. It's really better. Yep. This is a truth. Yep. Look, what I try to give you is truth. And that's why I'm telling you, you will physically feel this. It will amaze you. Is there a better time to say it? You know, I would love to do it at night before I go to bed because if you have something attached to you, it can affect your dreams. You can have their memories of whatever they went through and their traumas. So I would prefer to do it that, but I can't because what I'll do is I'll fall asleep trying to do it. So I do it. I do it of a morning. I try to I make sure that I do it of a morning, every morning. Um, but for those of you that can do it at night, that's great. If you want to do it in the morning, that's great. If you want to do it twice a day, that's great. I don't, I don't think you need to be doing it once an hour or three or four times a day. The key is if you get chatter in your head, you've got an attachment. Okay? You should be relatively quiet. Now you're going to have your own natural thoughts, but when I say chatter, I mean to where you just it's you you won't shut down. You can't shut down. It's a bouncy energy in your head. Yeah. I experience it more of a, a it's an anxious energy almost, not like my normal inside dialogue. Right. Yeah. And everyone's kind of different. So you, you but you will feel the difference when you do the lifting, you will feel that quiet. And you'll feel alone. You're alone in there for the first time. And I have no idea of how long. Will you talk a little bit about doing the lifting for someone else as well? How long you can do it before it's their responsibility? And you can do the lifting with their permission. Um, if it's a if it's a husband and wife situation or a partner situation or even a roommate situation, 
if it turns out that they won't do it themselves because they just don't want to or they don't really believe that or whatever the case and you're living with them for your protection you can do it for them with their permission to to pray for them or add them to your prayers or if they're really radical uh, you can do it for your own personal protection do you have to ask for that yearly Is there yearly okay. you have to ask for it yearly yes do you have to include yourself in the lifting when you do it for yes someone else as well? I do it for myself uh, when when I was my husband was my myself my husband James uh, pet house properties pet house property now uh, since my husband's passed over I do it for myself and all I have authority over now is the way I, I handle mine but now I've been doing mine for 33 years so or 34 years something like that so I, I've accrued seniority but you can you can do it as stated on the lifting. Myself, my husband, my family, my pets, my property, all I have authority over now. You can do it that, that way. And you're you're safe. Do you have any more questions in there? I got it that kind of covered um a couple that have come up. Um, okay. But this this one woman is asking about um she did a lifting for a friend who's very depressed and out of alignment with her faith. And at the lifting, she asked if she felt better, and she said maybe later. And she said, I talked to her about Jesus and God, and I feel she won't let go and embrace God and Jesus. It's her first Christmas without her father and her ex, and the liftings have helped her in the past. I feel as though she's given up or lost faith. Any suggestions for giving her support? My suggestion to you is let her know that you're there for her. Don't try to preach to her. Leave her alone with that. Okay? All of this is really not about preaching or getting someone to come to God or to Christ. Because they will on their own as they see things working for them. And if they ask you, you can help them. But if you preach at them, and I say at them, it's a turn off. And... People, they, they just want to be consoled during the holidays. They don't want to be preached to. So so just say, just do the liftings. It'll make you feel better, and it'll help you through this. And if you need my help, I'd be glad to help you with the liftings. That's the best way to handle something like that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be a preacher. I, I want to be a teacher. Uh, I, I think that people have had so much uh, guilt and you're a sinner and shame, shame and uh, uh, just shoved down their throat. Mm -hmm. I, I think that it's really important for us to understand that we can, can have a real one-on-one -on -one with God, that we don't have to go through quote, a church, although I have a church, but I I, I think we, we need the one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's more important than anything else. Personal relationship. Yes, absolutely. And that you do it through the power and, and through the authority of Jesus Christ and develop your relationship there and with the spirit community because they want to help you. They want to take care of you. They want to protect you. So you need to work with them. So from that, I'm going to move on to your guides, okay? Your guides are the Holy Spirit. They are not your uncle, your aunt, your grandmother, your, you know, your best friend who died in a traffic accident, who came back. These are the Holy Spirit. They are not human. They are a, they're, a, they're associated with God directly, just as Christ, just as the spirit community, and you have a minimum of three, and when they speak to you, they speak in your head from the right and over the top. And I, when mine talk to me, 
especially if I if I get if they talk to me for a fairly prolonged period of time or they channel through me, which does happen from time to time, I get a buzz. I feel a buzz. Starts here and just kind of comes up this way, which is really kind of neat, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and the words flow so nicely when they... Eloquent. Yeah, very eloquent. And um, the dark side also talks to you. They speak from the left internally. They're the ones that tell you you're fat and nobody likes you. You really shouldn't take up any more space on this planet. Why don't you kill yourself? Your husband doesn't like you. Look, they're cheating on you. Your wife's cheating on you. They don't like you. You put on weight. You're getting old. Da, 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 da. Okay? Whole different ball game. Your guides can speak externally. I've had, a, I've had it happen. Where they spoke. So I heard them not in my head like next to me, which is kind of cool. I've had that happen a few times, not very often, but it does happen. And that can happen to you too. If you go to carolpate.com, there is a prayer that you can do to start getting the communication started with your guides so that you can begin to work with them and they can learn to, to work with you and you can actually benefit from them because I'm here to tell you they've taught me everything I know spiritually and in other areas as well I might add they they virtually raised me I mean I had parents but they virtually raised me how many guides are there three we always have three we even have more but these are human guides that we can actually ask our guides to bring to us to help us like a guide of music, a guide of mechanics, etc. This person says when when I channel spirit, it comes from the left for me. That's not good. That's not a good. That's not good. I thought you might want to address that. Yeah, if it comes from the left, let me tell you something. The dark side can pretend to be guides. My suggestion to you is. You ask them, number one, who is your Lord and Master? Who, who do you serve? No, I'm sorry. Who do you serve is the first question. The second question is, who is your Lord and Master? They should say, God Almighty. I serve God Almighty. The second answer is, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, or Jesus Christ. If they don't do that, they are not guides. Because the dark side can't do it. I've heard other people tell me the same thing. And very often it can be a human mm -hmm. playing games. That's the reason you look for the Jesus Christ, Yeshua, because most people do not know the answers to this and they don't know Christ's name. And you tried other names oh, as yeah. an attempt to figure out if Christ was the only one to have authority, right? That's yes, cool. I did. As a matter of fact, I, I did some work in Japan and some work in China and in other countries. And I thought just for the heck of it, because I had run across the demonic, particularly in Japan, there was a demonic situation there. I did try the other names just to see what would happen. Nothing happened. I used the name of Jesus Christ. Done. Taken care of. So, yeah, I've tested. I wonder, I, you want to test, can you command the name of Muhammad? You know, can you use other names? No. Do psychopaths have guides? Everyone has guides. Everybody. I don't care who you are, what you are, how bad you are. The problem is, is that you don't have to listen to the guidance that they're giving you, so... No, you have this thing called free will. That's right. Do you have to ask for your guides or will they speak to you without your asking? No, they'll speak. They've been speaking to all of us. That's a natural thing. It's a natural course. That's when these brilliant ideas pop into your head and you think, oh man, I'm so smart. No, your guides, they gave it to you. Uh, 
And 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 when it pops in your head, it comes with that buzz. Mm -hmm. You feel for that buzz. Energy and inspiration combined together it feels good. It's a buzz. Yeah. It's a real honest to God buzz. So yeah. Uh, but they're always been working with us, and they're working with us as children, along with the dark side, I might add. Yep. I remember my daughter, she was two years old, two and a half years old. And this was later. I asked her because she only, she almost choked on a marble. She said this voice came in to my head and told me to swallow that marble. And I did. And she almost died on me. She almost choked to death. Scared me half to death. And I remember when I was seven, six, seven years old, um, and I've, I've talked about this in couple of previous broadcasts, the dark side would tell me, take this butcher knife, you know, big old butcher knife, put the handle into the earth and throw yourself on the, on the knife and compel me to want to do this. When I was a teenager, I woke up two or three times with a razor blade at my wrist at the sink. Like this. I woke up like that. I didn't cut myself. Lots of things have commit suicide, commit suicide, commit suicide. Especially those that have are very, very sensitive. Um, and it starts really strong. It starts all your life, but it really kicks in at age 13. Oh, man, it kicks in. 13, 14, 15. Oh, they do everything they can to, to take you down. It's really Great bad. Time. You bet. Hormones are in gear. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get her before she grows any any older here. Yeah. Let's take them down. Yeah. yeah. So your guides are there to... They, now, you understand something. They're not there to tell you what to do, but they are there to guide you to the right areas to the right information to assist you but they won't tell you what to do you can say well what do i do and they just shut up on you mm -hmm. they help you help yourself they uh, they do thank you yes that's very good i like that <laughs> yes now i want to talk also about uh some of the healing oh Yes, okay. Sorry, incoming. Um, about the house blessing. When you do the house blessing, it's, again, it's on carolpate.com. Uh, and you'll have all the instructions on the house blessing. You will feel as you start commanding, I command all evil to leave in the name of the Father, sprinkle salt water, Son, sprinkle salt water, and Holy Spirit, sprinkle salt water, and in the name of Jesus Christ, no sprinkle. You will feel like you have a weight on your chest, and you can just barely breathe, and it's really hard to speak. It's like you're out of breath. You're trying to speak breathlessly, and they are. They're that energy, it feels like a wall of energy and it presses against you. That's when you're doing a great job and you get louder. Yep. You get way louder. I command you to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. You get louder. You take authority. But you will feel it. If it's demonic. Now, if it's human... They don't have to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Sorry, and sage won't do it. Sorry, it won't do it. You can try it all you want. It'll lift out negative energies, but it will not take human spirits. Okay? I think they like to smell, honestly. You know, it smells like Thanksgiving or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh... The demonic, you can run out with uh, 
sandalwood incense. Sage won't get it there either, by the way. But you, you will feel it. As far as human spirits, if they're really evil or if they've done something really vile, uh, you can feel that, that energy. And it's, again, this it's a chest. You feel it in the chest, in through here, which is about mid-chest, okay? And it's, again, hard to breathe, um, uncomfortable. And a lot, like when I've walked into haunted houses that were haunted by spirits and demonic, I felt like I was trying to walk through water. It's, it affects your legs as well. It's like, it's really hard to walk and to move. It's like the energy gets so thick. So dense. thick. Yeah, so thick. Exactly. Does the house blessing on your webpage have instructions? Like yes. where to start? Yes, mm -hmm. absolute. As well as windows being open or closed, doors being open or closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the directions are there. All the directions are there. Okay. I tried to, to put everything in there that, that you need to know. So, yeah. We got any more questions? That was the most recent one. Here's one. Can I do the healing with holy water? My son doesn't live with me, but I feel he has anxiety and very stressed in life. Why would you do the healing with holy water? No. Uh, the holy water is for the, to cleanse, to clear, to cleanse from demonic. Not spirits, demonic, okay? Healing's entirely different. Uh, let's, let's talk fibromyalgia. One of the healing formulas in the healing formulas area on carolpate.com is for fibromyalgia. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced fibromyalgia, but your skin hurts. It's all the nerves in your skin. Okay? And I have taken people that have had full body fibromyalgia. It can be in various locations, but full body fibromyalgia. And I have done the, this particular healing formula on them. And the first thing that happens is they get a relief, instant relief of pain, and there's usually a tingling mm -hmm. in all the areas where the where the pain was throughout the body. Mm -hmm. Tingling is always a sign of healing. Not everybody gets that tingling, but most people do experience a tingling on any in any of the healing work. Um, the fibromyalgia I have learned through my work, and I'm not here to argue with doctors or anything of that nature, but this is what I've learned, that it is caused by a nanobacteria that eats on the nerves. Okay? And you remove it through the legion of pan because it's a nature spirit. As a virus or a bacteria, it's a nature spirit. And the legion of Pan has authority in the name of Jesus Christ over nature spirits. So, and they're called prickles. Mm -hmm. That's their name. I, I remember you telling that story. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And I know it. How did you discover you that? Me from that? Yeah. Yeah. How did you discover that? Well, I had a lady that came to me that could barely walk. She had it throughout her whole body. She she couldn't wear a belt. Her clothing hurt her. She was in terrible shape. So we had a meeting that we we had a meeting like every Monday night. Now it's every Wednesday, not every Wednesday night, but we have them on Wednesday nights. And I would bring uh, whatever was attached to her through the medium to find out what it was. And it came through and it said, uh, I asked, I used her name and her address to get whatever was attached to her through the medium. And then the medium changed and I said, what are you? And it said, I am who you called for that was attached to so-and-so. I said, okay. 
What are you? I'm a prickle. You're what? I'm a prickle. Okay. What's a prickle? <laughs> I am a nanobacteria. Are you natural to this planet? Yes, we are natural to this planet. A nanobacteria. Smaller. Mm -hmm. Sub. Mm -hmm. Bacteria. I said, how do you cause the pain? We heat her nerves. We feed on her nerves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I don't, I don't want to hurt you or anything, but this is causing this woman pain. And is this for her lessons? And they said, well, everything's for lessons. I said, okay, how do we deal with you? You can send us into the light in the name of Jesus Christ. Aww. And they always talk this little, little voice. Little baby yeah, Aww. yeah. You know, kind of like a fairy or something. That's pretty cool voice. <laughs> yeah, a little prickly voice. And they said, uh, call us by our name. I said, okay, so can I do this now? Yes. And so I, I asked the Legion of Japan to remove all prickles, their seeds, eggs, particle, residue, and young. Take them into the light in the name of Jesus Christ. And then I asked for a spirit healer to remove all residue and to bring her back to the state that God originally intended her to be. I saw her the next day. She had a belt on, high heels. Mm -hmm. She was good to go. Makeup. That prayer totally changed my life. I, I could actually wear a bra out in public and not feel like I was in a torture device after you did that on me. In that, it's such it's a. All, and it was instant. It was just like that. Yeah, it's always it's instant. It's amazing, yeah. and you can do it. Doesn't take me to do it. You can do it. The prayers in there, but it's got to be the fibromyalgia. There are other things that. They're told it's fibro, and it's not fibromyalgia. It only works on true fibromyalgia, but you will get an instant result. Mm -hmm. What about lower back pain healing? That can be a couple of things, actually. <laughs> and I do a workshop on that, which is tapping out. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, there is a uh, formula in the healing formulas of energy and trauma, of pain, energy and consciousness, of pain, injury and trauma, and call it forth to the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And what you do is you take your, your right, you do use your right hand so, and say, no. You do, where we go. We do the left hand, so we're asking for Christed light to come through the body, through the solar plexus, and into the right hand, putting it on the location of pain. And you call energy and consciousness of injury, pain, and trauma to the back. I call thee forth through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Come forth. Repeat that twice. I release thee and unbind thee, turn thee from negative to positive, dissolve and disperse thee and return thee back to God through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Twice. Heal and be whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Once. Is that on the website? It's on the website. And you can exchange... That basic healing formula for cancer, tumors, cysts, whatever you want to exchange it for. What if the disease is not necessarily known? Can you say unknown disease affecting my liver or unknown disease affecting my immune system? It's You really need a name for it to work appropriately. You, yeah, you system. really, really do. So you really want to check with the doctor and find out what you're really, really dealing with. 
And there are other things you may not be able to get. There's a couple of things that's going on. Number one, you have to build authority through the spirit community. You have to evolve. I'm sorry. And we're how do you do that? By doing the liftings on a daily basis. Getting serious with it. Getting serious with the spiritual program. You then will evolve authority so that you can do these things and you'll have greater authority to do them. The more seniority you evolve, more time that you give and that you, you're, you're truly serious, the spirit community sees you're serious and they'll help and they will work with you. I wouldn't advise you to jump into the middle of the healing formulas or prayers until you evolve some seniority and get serious with it for them to work. Now, there's another aspect, and this is what threw me. As I was learning the healing, I learned that some people needed and or wanted their affliction, whatever that happened to be. Uh, for instance, I had one woman that would evolve a brain tumor to get her husband back. When she'd be treated and the brain tumor would go away, he would leave her. So she evolved another tumor. Uh, another woman, she evolved a skin condition because the man that she was married to her irritated her to pieces, okay, which showed up on skin. So she would clear when he'd go on vacation or would go out of town and then erupt when he'd come back. There was no healing her because it was her reaction, her spiritual, emotional reaction to a situation. So there are some things that you can heal and there are some things that have deeper roots that have to be brought out for that person to deal with it. Okay. It took me two years to get a full healing on the nerve damage in my leg, but I didn't get it broke all in one day. I wasn't going to get it fixed all in one day. I stayed faithful to it, though, and now it's completely healed, and I don't have to see a pain doctor anymore. So, hallelujah. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. The beauty of this is it's a spiritual journey. It's, it's like going to school. You're going, you're going to college. I'm not going to say high school, although some of it's kind of high school, into college. And it gets into some really, really heavy-duty stuff. And you you have to to evolve with each level that you learn. And with each level that you learn, your authority is heightened and is greater. And you can accomplish more, which is the beauty of it. And you feel it. Mm -hmm. It's not just... Words. I mean, these are actual results that you will see in your day-to-day -day life. Yes. I, I have. Yes. It's awesome. And those of you that have clients, if, if you're spiritual, if you're doctors, whatever, use this with your clients. You have to get their permission. Now, if you have authority over them, uh, say, let's say you're a director of nurses you have a, an area that you have authority over, you have the right to do that lifting on that area on a daily basis. You don't have the right to do the lifting on the patients, but you can on the place and keep it clean, okay, which helps them heal faster. There, there's such neat stuff here. Any questions? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, can you do the lifting on someone with their permission that doesn't believe in God? Absolutely. And will it help? Absolutely. Their belief does not, it, it, unless they go, I, I'll let you do it, but I just don't believe in anything of that nature, and I, I'm really not open to it. They will actually shut themselves down. They can do that. But if they're just skeptical or what. It does, their belief system is not a requirement. No requirement there. What about schizophrenia? It is an actual mental 
problem. She says my mother-in-law suffers with lasers zapping her. And this that question came up during the discussion of fibromyalgia. So I'm wondering if the question might be, is there a healing formula? Well, or I'm going to tell you something. Even with schizophrenia, the lifting helps because these people are usually very, very sensitive mm -hmm. and they not only hear the chemicals in their brain that's messing them up, but they are actually hearing spirits as well mm -hmm. and they go through physical problems as well, so it can't hurt. I haven't got... Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Hang on. Incoming. All right. Um, there, there is a form of schizophrenia, which is not true schizophrenia. It is an allergic reaction to the coffee bean, which causes full-scale schizophrenia, okay, to the coffee bean. And this is coffee and ice cream, coffee, any, anything coffee, syrup, anything. Take them off of all coffee products. In two weeks, if the, if the schizophrenia completely goes away, they won't have it again if they stay off coffee. Now, if they get back on coffee, it'll start again. How do I know that? Because I had a schizophrenic who came to me. My guide said he had an allergy to the coffee bean. I had him get off the coffee. His schizophrenia completely went away, which he was very unhappy about because he was getting about $1,400 a month <laughs> for his schizophrenia. So, you know, you do it with it as you as you want to. <laughs> a little sip of coffee here or there. But it was gone. And then I found others that I did the same thing with, and theirs went too. Now, not all schizophrenia goes away with this, but test it. Check it out first. Give it a shot. Awesome. What two bracelet stones do you recommend for financial abundance? <laughs> uh, Mother of Pearl and Adventuring. Interesting. Okay. Okay. This person says, I had a dream of a kitty who had passed years ago. I know it was a visitation. She had the tiniest, cutest little voice, and she could speak. She told me I was her second mommy and that she loves doggies because now I have two dogs, which is all true. But can they talk? Yes. Yes, they can. They can talk to you mentally alive. They can transfer. Animals are telepathic. Yeah, they're very telepathic until they find out that you can actually hear them, and then they shut up on you. It depends on the animal, but yes. Yes, yes. Our dog was just diagnosed with mouth cancer. Oh. Now, I've been doing the liftings on her and the cancer prayer last night. Is there a specific tumor prayer? If you know the name of the tumor, you can use that name in the tumor and that general... The basic human... The basic formula, healing formula. Energy and consciousness of whatever tumor. I now call the fourth through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Because I did the basic... Uh, healing on a dog that got run over by a car. And healed it. And healed it. Yeah. Completely. Except for the side that I couldn't get to. What? I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to... Uh, the question? Yeah. We're working on this. Is it jumping around on you? A little bit. Oh. If you don't know the exact address of a deceased loved one, how can you send them into the light? Okay. What you do is, uh, if it's a family member, you can call them by my uncle, my aunt, my great-great-grandmother, etc., who lived in the city of, in the state of, okay? If it's a loved one and you don't know which state they, they died in or which city, and depending upon whether they were family or just somebody that you just really cared about, you can say, if it is appropriate, 
I would please ask the band of mercy to locate and give their full name, whose last city that I remember was such and such, if it is appropriate, and do it that way. I can't guarantee it. It, it depends. going to take a stab at this question so she's going to have a surgical procedure done on a specific part of her body and um, she's been reading up on the healing prayers on your website now she says that I need to know what not to pray about but I'm thinking maybe um, she's maybe wanting more specifics about possibly what to pray for before the surgery and should okay. she do a lifting before the, before the surgery. Okay, all right. My suggestion is this, that you pray that the band of mercy uh, remove anything that's attached, affecting, or influencing her doctors and nurses and name the doctor and that these be the nurses under that doctor. The time... And the place, the address of the place where the surgery is going to take place, whether it's a clinic or a hospital, and um, that spirit healers be there to assist, and that the band of mercy also bring, the, I'm sorry, that the spirit healers also assist in uh, actively removing pain and trauma from the surgery and to activate the appropriate healing. And you can put it in, in words along those lines, but those are the things that you need to do. Um, I wouldn't do any more work on uh, the actual process because once a doctor starts doing medical things with, with it's a tumor or a cancer or whatever it happens to be, it could actually interfere with with that healing of that. So I would just I would just promote that for the the day that you're going to have the surgery or whatever it happens to be. Keep it simple, simple as possible. Thank you. Is there anything that can be done about ringing in the ears and head? Well, I see. There's so many reasons for that it can be tendonitis it can be medication that you're on that can cause ringing in the ear uh, you might have had some sort of a blow that could cause ringing of the ear uh, I sometimes get a ring in the ear and it's, it's not both at the same time it's one or the other and it gets louder and louder there is the ET band of mercy. You can oh. ask the ET band of mercy to remove all that are here now in the names of and place them in the appropriate protected sanctuary. If it was that, the ringing will stop immediately. Okay, good point. Uh, there's another thing too. If you have somebody that talks perpetually, it can cause ringing in your ear, right or left side. <laughs> good to know. Yeah. Is the coffee allergy related to schizophrenia, can that also apply to chocolate? No, it's only coffee. Okay. Now, if you have coffee-chocolate combination, it's the coffee. It's the actual coffee bean. This woman said the last time she visited with you, she said her mom uh, was taken into protected sanctuary. Okay. How will she know if she ever goes into the light? Her mom will probably visit her in a dream. She doesn't need to worry about it. Let me tell, thank you for bringing that up. The protected sanctuary is in the light. Mm -hmm. It is in, it's like, it's in the light, but it's like a hospital in the light that kind of ushers them into their new acceptance of, of heaven. Because a lot of people, what they think, is heaven isn't always what they think it is actually going to be, and it throws them for a loop. Or they don't think there will be an afterlife, and that shocks them. Or they, they died through traumatic situations. Or they were under a lot of medication. They have to come out of that. But 
sanctuary is in the light. They do not need to be concerned about it. You've gotten a lot of compliments on your on your outfit. Thank um, you. <laughs> you're looking quite lovely tonight. Um, this this woman Margo says her, her solid black cat Allie loves your broadcasts. She makes a beeline to sit with her whenever she hears your voice, and it never oh. fails. Her other pets have no reaction, but she just found that interesting. Oh, that's I neat. That Hi, Allie. <laughs> Okay, uh, cremation or burial, or does it make a difference? Apparently, it doesn't make a bit of difference. It is your uh, car while you're here, your material uh, suit, if you will, while you're here so you can participate. Mm -hmm. And once you're out of it, it's nothing. So what you do is you do what's right for your loved ones. You're not going to be in there. You don't have to worry about it. You will not be cremated with your body. You will be out of there. Okay? So whatever makes them happy, whatever um, make, makes it easy for them, if they want to have a all-out funeral, you know, and bring out the horns and the marching band, fine. That's great because it's all about them. It's no longer really about you. By the way, cremation, a lot of people think that by keeping the ashes, they hold the energy. They don't. They've been purified. Okay. My mom has wet age-related macular de degeneration. Is there anything I can do to help her regain her vision? Oh, God, I can't think. There's a product, actually, that uh, Bosch and Lom puts out that uh, actually they're pills that you have to take that take that down about 30%. Talk to the uh, pharmacist. Is it A-Reds maybe? That's it, A-Reds. That's it. It does help. It, it, it cuts it by about 30%. Um, and uh, there's another aspect of it. It's hardening of the arteries too. Sorry. And um, if it's there, it's probably in other areas of the body. And what's happened is she shut herself down from love, from possible future relationships, but it's shutting oneself down from the flow of life. Again, I always recommend Heal Your Body, the book by Louise Hay. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not 100% accurate, but it has accuracy to it that allows you to sort of a jump start. And get you going in the right direction. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we have, we got time for a couple more. What is the difference between Seraphim Angels and the Band of Mercy? Oh, <laughs> well. Well, they're angels and the Band of Mercy are human. <laughs> The Band of Mercy is 100%. They are humans, okay? These are people that were earthbound, that were prayed into the light, that have chosen to help others that have been caught in the outer darkness or earthbound. They are not angels. If someone's loved one has been gone for a long time and they've never visited, why would that be? Some people do and some people don't. I mean, it's just, it's as simple as that. Uh, it's like some people are real talkative and outgoing. Some people are very reserved and don't want to talk. And it's not a matter of love or any of that. And in some situations, if you're grieving and they're grieving, but especially if you're grieving, they won't, they're not allowed to come near you because you would grab onto them and try to hold them. Yep. And it would, it would make you grieve more. Yep. This has been about 20 years, this specific question. Time doesn't seem to really count a whole lot sometimes in those situations. My mother never visit, visited me. Well, I take that back. She did one time. She brought me a, a, birthday cake in the shape of a turtle <laughs> and didn't say a word to me. 
Go figure. Go figure. <laughs> and I got her into the light, too. Yeah, imagine what she was like before she got in the light. Huh? <laughs> yeah. That is the point. <laughs> if you have a family member who constantly talks, is there a prayer for that? Or is that just... Yeah, you get this buzzing or you go <laughs> deaf. Earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, if you start going deaf from them, say, I don't like what I'm hearing, but I love to hear tap, tap. It'll help. Okay? I wish. <laughs> okay. On a more serious note, um, my granddaughter passed away from cancer five years ago, and I'm still so angry at God. How can I stop being angry and go back to believing? Well, number one, God didn't take her. That's number one. God doesn't go, okay, pluck, pluck. Oh, I'm going to take you, pluck. Doesn't work that way. We choose when we're going to pass. We choose our own time. For whatever reason, she chose this time. It was her time, and it wasn't according to God. It was according to her prior to coming in. And it's her right. It's her right. You have to respect her right to pass. And she's not dead. Just her body is. Her body is, but she's not dead. She's still alive and well, and she's still going on. Forgive her for leaving before you wanted her to. Let this thing go about God. God did not do this. God is not responsible for this. And make your peace. We're running over time. We got a little bit. We were. Okay. How do you guys feel? Good. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Christmas, you know. We, yeah. we don't have anything until after New Year's. This person says, my mother spoke to me for the first time since her transition in 2009 and said I'd be dead in a car wreck in six months in a dream. That may not have been her mother. Now, the, there's another aspect of this. If her mother went into the light or not, that's number one. And I would highly suggest you get your mother into the light. The prayer to get loved ones into the light are on carolpate.com. The other is it can be the dark side trying to pretend to be her mother to put a scare tactic in there. Because I think if it were on a positive note, her mother would have given her warning of how to try to stop the car wreck. Good point. Can you help people stop smoking? Yeah. I Hey, I, I smoke for... 40 some odd years. Are you kidding? I put them down. Put them down. As I have a uh, a way of stopping smoking. It's on carolpate.com. Mm -hmm. And also works with pain pills, drugs, etc. If you pray a person into the light, are they aware that you're doing it? Yes. Well, they aren't, maybe not at that moment, but they are made aware. My daughter's into black magic. Mm. She does it towards anyone who she feels crosses her. We're not speaking at the moment, and I know she's doing it towards me. I've been doing the lifting, and last week I woke up at 3 with horrible pain in my chest. I think the lifting has helped but my business has been slower than I've experienced. What can I do? All right. On my website, you will find how to release energy and consciousness of curses, how to release curses. And it releases curses, spells, conjurations, hexes, fixes, damnations. I would do it and see what happens. 
I wouldn't name your daughter, but I would say whoever has sent this because you're going to send it back to them in a positive. You're going to turn it from a negative to a positive and send it back to teach. And I would do it, well, it's three times, three times. Not not the, the curse, but three times to threefold. threefold. Thank you. Threefold to teach. Okay. And you do it. Uh, it tells you exactly how to do it. And it'll make a believer out of her more than likely and let her know that if she continues, you will up the, the threefold to a tenfold. Mm -hmm. And that the power of God is stronger than what she is messing with. Um, just just a reminder that Carol can't answer personal questions because of the way that she works. She has to have an object or tap into a picture in order to um, individualize individualize readings mm -hmm. for personal questions. So if you have a question like that, you can call and make an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, but she can't do that through this avenue this this is for teaching for me to try to help okay please take advantage of this don't take advantage of me <laughs> oh yes thank you god bless you by the way <laughs> we are going to take a vacation and it's going to start our last day here will be the 22nd is it 22nd yes 23rd 24th be closed from the 23rd through January. we'll be closed yes yeah, thank you which will be open on the 22nd 27 you sure 22nd. yes you'll be open on the 22nd okay and closed from the 23rd through january 2nd and then you'll be back on january 3rd she said it way better <laughs> <laughs> I'm along for the ride, okay? <laughs> I'm the one taking vacation. <laughs> I think she might have posted that on her website as well. Yeah, it, it'll be posted. It'll be posted. Okay. I, I need my downtime. Yeah. Any last minute questions? Just a couple of personal ones. Um, I can't do personal. There, oh. beautiful and oh. there is one, one comment. Um, she said, I wanted to make a comment that I've been guided to help spirits into the light for about 10 years now. I've now realized I was guided to your work, Carol, mm -hmm. so I could more adequately do this work for myself and the spirit community. Thank you from my heart. Absolutely. My pleasure. Th uh, that's what I want. I want people to be able to, to do this and, and do it better more efficiently and safely. Mm -hmm. That's the major thing, doing it. There is so much garbage out there, and they get entrapped, and, and they, they, they get taken for money and all sorts of stuff. So I'm really glad that I can do this, and I'm pleased that, that people are learning. I'm proud of you all. I really, really am, because I know it's hard. Because it takes you out of a belief system and it kind of, Pops that paradigm. Mm -hmm. But believe me, <laughs> it needs to be popped. It really does. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. We ready to do the lifting? Yes. You want to explain that you're going to do the lifting? I'm going to do the lifting. <laughs> you don't want the lifting done, you can turn it off. <laughs> right. That's right. If you don't want to. If you, and you should feel this. Oh, one other thing. Thank you. After you do the first lifting, when you do the lifting for yourself, more than likely you will not feel anything. That is because there's nothing there. You will only feel something if something is actually attached to you. And another thing I want to state before, I want you to understand they're not just attached to you, they're within you. All right? I think it's it's important for people to know that because I think they think there's like these little ghosts that are like, hanging on for the ride. yeah, hanging on for the ride, but they're actually like within. And that's why it's so dangerous. Okay. Everybody ready? Okay. I would please ask the band of mercy 
to remove all unclean spirits, thought forms, elementals, unnamed energies that are attached, affecting, or influencing all now and either take them into the light or into protected sanctuary or do whatever they deem necessary with them. In the name of God Almighty, my one true source, my one true creator, my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, in the high most holy spirit, and I thank thee, I would please ask the appropriate archangel or angels and their legions to please remove all demonic entities, energies, influences that are attached, affecting, or influencing now and place them into protected sanctuary or do whatever they deem necessary with them. In the name of God Almighty, my one true source, my one true creator, my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the High Most Holy Spirit, and I thank thee. I would please ask the appropriate archangel or angels and the appropriate legions from the appropriate realms or counter realms to please remove all negative beings, entities, energies, influences that are attached, affecting, or influencing now and place them into protected sanctuary in the name of God Almighty, my one true source, my one true creator, my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the High Most Holy Spirit, and I thank thee. I would please ask the glory band of mercy to remove anything that is attached, affecting, or influencing and place them into protected sanctuary now in the name of God Almighty, my one true source, my one true creator, my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the High Most Holy Spirit, and I thank thee. I would please ask the, the integral band of mercy to remove anything that is attached, affecting, or influencing, including AIs and anything sent through AIs, and either place them in protected sanctuary or do whatever they deem necessary with them, and to enforce all appropriate laws in whatever ways are deemed appropriate in the name of god almighty my one true source my one true creator my lord and master jesus christ yeshua and the high most holy spirit and i thank thee i would please ask the archangel michael and his legions to remove all demonic entities energies influences that are attached affecting or influencing now and place them into protected sanctuary in the name of god almighty my one true source my one true creator my lord and master jesus christ yeshua and the high most holy spirit and i thank thee i would please ask the archangel gabriel and his legions to remove all sons of darkness, their seeds, eggs, particle, residue, and young residue, and place them into protected sanctuary now in the name of God Almighty, my one true source, my one true creator, my Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the High Most Holy Spirit, and I thank thee. I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a very happy new year, a very prosperous happy new year. God bless you all. Good night.